Welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I am going to talk about the term called drivetrain. Yes, what is drivetrain? And also, in other words, I can tell after the end of the video, you can come to know how the car works and what are the components has been taking part and what are the roles of each and individual components. So that's what the agenda that I am going to deliver in this video. All right. So let's start with what exactly the drivetrain is. Of course, in the last video, I have mentioned the drivetrain is just of transmitting the power from the transmission to the wheels. So that's what drivetrain is. And two things you have to remember. One is the drivetrain and powertrain is different. So drivetrain is something is transmitting the power or powertrain is something it is generating and transmitting the power. All right. So second point is wherever the engine is taking part that is called powertrain and not drivetrain. All right. So these are the two things. Now I'll start with the drivetrain. So these are all the components where drivetrain has. It starts with the transmission until wheel. Before that, we have clutch flywheel engine that you can ignore for the drivetrain. But for understanding perspective, yes, of course, we need the engine as well. Let me start with engine. So here engine we have this. What this engine will do? This engine will generate a power. We have a four strokes in the engine in, in all the strokes, the engine will uh, generate up of course it's, it will start it will generate only in one stroke but we will we'll get the power in all the strokes because of the flywheel the flywheel has been attached how, how the how the flywheel works and what is the significance let me discuss in the some other video tutorial all right so after this flywheel we have the clutch the clutch will be pressed with the flywheel and the main role of the uh, clutch is definitely to engage and disengage the engine and transmission because uh, whenever you are changing the gear or you are cranking the engine at the time the engine should not uh, engage with the transmission as per the modern vehicles i'm talking about even most of the indian vehicles have the same technology so so we have the clutch it's a bridge between uh, the transmission and the flywheel that is engine literally called engine so once the power comes from the uh, engine to transmission the transmission will uh, have the linear rotation into the uh, of course the entire transmission have the linear motion and the main shaft has been connected to the propeller shaft so the propeller shaft is the exact term that is used in the in, in the system level um, you know the component name but whereas in the market you can tell this as a drive shaft so drive shaft is a commonly used name in the market but coming to the system level that is uh, in the in the laboratory or in the plant we used to call this a propeller shaft so this propeller shaft will get the linear motion because of the main shaft of the transmission so whenever the engine engine uh, give, gives the power and the flywheel rotates and the clutch is engaged it will start to rotate the drive shaft uh, sorry propeller shaft or drive shaft by means of the main shaft of the transmission so transmission is simply a gear all right so uh, the you have the car gear uh, under the car gear we'll have this setup that is called transmission and after transmissions go to the propeller shaft this propeller shaft has a linear motion yes of course this linear motion is uh, connected to the differential so the main um, uh, you know the usage of the pro uh, differential is to convert the linear motion into the circular motion uh, there in turn the axle has been connected so the axle will make the wheel to rotate all right so this linear motion the differential will gives the linear motion into the circular motion that is what the you know we have the a gear mechanism here so it will convert the linear motion to the circular motion it will which in turn rot it will make the axle to rotate in the uh, circular motion so the as the wheel is connected into the axle it starts to rotate and as because of the rotation the car moves so this is the main you know the functionality behind each and every cars so how the so the main question is where this will be is it rear or front all right so definitely what i said is it's a rear so the engine is of course we have the your bonnet or a hood uh, you know the engine is being kept here so it will give the drive shaft and the different by use of the differential you can get so just imagine why these much pro processes if you have the pro differential here you don't want uh, uh, you know the drive shaft or you don't you don't want the propeller shaft or also you'll have some loss energy loss or power loss so you can minimize that yes that is called front wheel drive so what exactly the front wheel drive rear wheel drive all wheel drive that will be discussed in the next video all right i hope you learn so at least how the car moves from the engine to the uh, wheels all right so if you are clear yes you can leave a comment if you have any queries also you can leave a comment so that we'll 
uh, give up with a more and more conceptual knowledge and we'll try to bring the real component as well all right so with your support i will definitely make the uh, complete component here in front of you to explain each and every component in depth all right so if you understand something if you really learn you can hit a like and uh, if you really expecting us many videos yes please leave a comment or also do a subscribe share to your friends catch you in the next video until then bye take care